Hi, I'm General Pole, and welcome to my guide to using console commands in Imperator Rome. Console commands can be used to cheat, work around bugs, or to just generally mess around with the game. Since the Pompey patch 1.1, the console has been disabled by default, so to enable it, you'll need to launch the game in debug mode. To do this in Steam, what you want to do is right click on your game, go down to properties, and you'll see down here in the launch options. You'll want to enter dash debug underscore mode. You can then close that there and then click on play to launch your game. In a, a Windows version of the game, what you'll want to do is create a shortcut to the game. Right click on the shortcut, choose properties and in the target field, you'll want to add a, a debug underscore mode at the end. And if you're using GOG, you'll want to right click the game, choose settings, and then go to the add command line argument section and enter debug underscore mode. Okay, so we've launched the game, we're playing as Rome here. First thing you'll notice in debug mode is that if you hover over a province, you can see its ID along with the nation tag. Useful information for certain commands we'll get to later. Okay, to open the console, you want to press the back tip key or the till key or shift LC depending on your keyboard layout. Pressing that again will close the console. Okay, so let's start off with some simple commands. First things first, cache. So cache, you enter a value after, a numeric value like 100, and that will add 100 cache like so. Nice and easy. If you don't specify a value, it will default to 5,000. The next command I want to show you is legitimacy. So uh, this is similar to the first one. You add a value after it and it will give you that value in legitimacy. Next command up is political, a political influence. And again, you add an amount after this here at 200. You can see my political influence just jumped up by 200. Again, quite useful. Next command is stab. So this one here again, you can add a value after it. And this increases your stability. You can see here we get a notification saying our stability has increased due to cheating. Next up is manpower. Again, this command spe if to specify an amount after it, though in this case it is in thousands. So if I enter 10, it'll actually give me 10,000 manpower. Just to make note of that. Next command is tyranny. Again, specify an amount after this here. If I add 50, this will give me 50 tyranny as shown. Next command I'm gonna show you is the aggressive expansion one, which is AE. So if I give it a value after this here, such as 10, you can see my AE increased by 10. Likewise, if I was to put a minus in that there, it'll bring it back down or reduce it by 10. Quite useful. Another useful command is military underscore experience. And again, this is a value add after it. So add 100 and it'll give you 100 experience if I could spell military correctly. So you can see there, military experience has jumped up by 100. And another command is tech. So again here, you enter value off this here, and this gives you the number of levels. Uh, if you don't specify a number, it'll just give you one tech level. So if I just hit tech here, you can see I've just been given one tech level. This will obviously then give you a uh, more innovations and stuff to spend. Okay, another command you can use is the yes men command. When uh, you enable this here, the AI will accept all diplomatic proposals you sent them. Entering in it again will toggle it off. Useful in certain circumstances. Okay, the next one I want to show is tag. So the tag command allows you to switch to another AI country. So if I want to say switch to Carthage, so Carthage is C-A-R, I hit that there, and you can see now I'm now playing as Carthage. Next command is the revolt command. 
So this command will start a revolt in the specified country. So if we want to start a revolt in Rome, say, it'd be R-O-M, and that'll start a revolt in Rome. A similar command is the civil underscore war command. And uh, this time we'll start a civil war in Carthage. So again, you just enter the country tag after it, and you can see a civil war has started here. Another interesting command is the declare war command. So you can use this to declare war between two different nations. So in this instance here, let's see, I'll declare war between Sparta and Athens. So Sparta is a SPA and Athens is ATH. I do that there and you can see a war has started. If I click on Sparta here now and bring up a double, we can see here that a Sparta and Athens are at war. So uh, yeah, again, a useful enough command. Speaking of war, let us go on to the control command. So the control command enables you to take control of a, a province. So if I go down here, we can get this province ID here so we can see 3257, put a space in there. And you can see it is now under the control of Carthage. Uh, of course, the next step after control is to actually conquer the region. So if you use the conquer and 3257, it actually then becomes part of your nation. Talking about taking over nations, you can annex territory too using the annex command. So you want to annex the uh, Messidia here. So they're MSY. And you can see here, our Mr. Reporter, we have annexed them and got, become huge. Again, very, very useful. Another command you can use round war is the army command. Well, this is to spawn in some armies and you'll after the army command you'll want to enter the cohort count we'll give it five and for the province we'll spawn them into here which is 3263 so you can see here we have now spawned in a levy here with five archer cohorts nice and handy and useful Another command around army which can be useful sometimes is the army underscore loyalty and again you just have to enter the province that the army is in so we can use the same province here as before 3263 and then you add them out the loyalty you want to add to this say uh, 50 and that will add loyalty to them troops. And finally around war, is, the last command I want to use is Navy. So again, this is something similar. You add the amount of ships you want. I want to add 50 ships. And we're going to bring them into this territory here, which is 25, 65. And you can see 50 ships have spawned in. Okay, a couple of additional commands that are somewhat related a uh, destroy underscore mercenaries so what this does this actually destroys any mercenaries on the map and uh, but more can respawn later so we hit here you can see the mercenaries that were sitting there in city of carthage are now gone another interesting command that you can use is horde and what this will do this will spawn a barbarian horde in your specified province so yeah, we can spawn it in here in Carthage. For the crack, you can see here, barbarians have spawned in. Okay, so that's the end of the sort of war type commands. The next few commands are going to be around characters. So what I'm going to do here is I am just gonna open up my character screen here just so I can see some characters. You can see we've got some IDs here of some of the characters. We'll use that there uh, for testing this here. So, first command is the kill command. And you can do kill 142. And that'll kill our target. You can see here, he is uh, now dead. Next command I wanna show you round characters is the uh, a uh, 
the age command. So what you want to type in is character. If I can spell it correctly. And uh, dot age. And then after that there you want to add the ID of the character. So we're going to take this one year old and we're going to age him up a bit. So there are 11937 and then you add the age after that there. So let's make them 20. So you can see here yeah, she is now 20 years old. Quite useful command. You also can do it in reverse. Set the 18 and she'll go to 18. So let's go to whatever value you set. Okay, so now there is a couple of uh, additional uh, commands that you can uh, use with uh, the character sort of uh, command. Uh, that is character.marshal. Again, after it, you add the character ID and then you add the value which you want to increase their marshal uh, stat by. So I can put this to 20. So if I now hover over her, you can see now her marshal is now sitting at 20. Again, this goes for finesse. Increase the finesse, uh, charisma. Oh, I didn't spell charisma correctly. Charisma and zeal, like so. So if we hover over our character again now, you can see that she has 20 in all of those uh, areas. Another command you can use is the make underscore child command. And with this one here, you specify a mother and a father. So let's give our character a, a child. And we'll select a random father. We'll select this fella here. And a child has been born now to that character. Similarly, you can marry characters off in a similar way. Uh, you enter in both of their uh, IDs and it should marry them if they are eligible to be married. So you can see they have now been married. Okay, so that's the end of the sort of character based commands. The next series of commands are instant commands. So these here are commands that uh, they're actually toggable type of commands. So I'll quickly run through them. The first one is instant war. Um, what this uh, enables is uh, basically word acquisitions are instant. Again, this is toggable. Run the command again, disables it. The next command I want to show you is instant siege. And uh, this here is a toggable one as well. And this uh, toggle siege to be instantaneous. So you can toggle it off again, like so. The next instant command is instant build. This enables building to build instantaneously. Again, it is a toggable command. The next instant command is instant move. Again, this enables uh, the movement of units to be instantaneous. Again, it is a toggable command. The next instant command I want to use is instant pop assimilation. I enable this here. This enables instant cultural assimilation of your pops on the monthly tick. Again, it's toggable on and off. The next one is instant pop class. So this here enables instant promotion, depromotion of your pops through the different classes. Again, it is toggable. You just run it again to turn it off. And the last of the instant commands I want to show you is a religious conversion. So that's basically instant pop religious conversion is the full command. Again, it's toggable on and off. And this enables instant religious conversion on the monthly tick of the game. Okay, so we are almost done. Uh, one of the final commands I want to show you is a uh, tick underscore underscore day and you specify a number of this here and that will move for the game that specified number of days. Okay, 
And the final command I want to show you is observe. It says here, command just enable this observe mode. And there is a shorthand which is just OB. Again, this is a toggable command, so it will toggle back and forth. So that brings us to the end of my guide. This is just a small selection of the console commands that is available in Imperator Rome. You can find more on the console commands page of the Imperator Wiki. I've included a link to this in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the like button, leave a comment below, subscribe and click the notification bell. Thanks for watching.